Yeah, all right, so um, this is how it works. So I'm just going to like start from scratch as if I, you know, was going to do something new. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit new, open up something, um, something new for you so you can just see how it works. And I'm just going to do one, one track. All right, so what you do is once you come here, you know, I got a um, instrumental track set up. I'm sorry, um, for a virtual instrument. You want to come over here and you want to type in drum ultra. I'm sorry, it's ultra drum. I got that backwards. Ultra drum machine. So once you get that opened up, you want to go into your mixer. And what I do is I use a shortcut. So I just hit X and it pulls up my mixer here at the bottom. And you see right here, you have the tab to go to ultra. Ultra Beats. So when you when you first pull this up, they're gonna have like their own little preset on here, you know. And I I don't want to use that. And just with your um your B machine being connected, the mapping not gonna be set up right. So you what you gotta do is you gotta find the right bank on your um MIDI keyboard or your machine or whatever you're using, and then um you want to clear it out and create your own preset. So what I did is. I created a blank preset and let me go back. See, it says uh, machine template. So all these banks that I have are blank. And I set this up, you know, according to you if you're going to use like an NPC or a machine. So right here is sample slot one and this goes all the way up to all the way up to 16. All these banks are set up adjusted for me to load sounds into them. So I got my uh, machine hooked up right now. So let me um, turn that on. Oops. Damn. Oh. Oops, oops. Let me. My bad. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me start. F oh, F1 shift. Okay. F1. Okay. So I got this set up on a group. All right. So the way I got mine set up, I gotta have mine on group. I gotta have mine on group C and around. So I'm gonna press the pads. You're gonna see my pads lighting up on one through sixteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All these pads are sunk up so they can um, communicate with my uh, logic. So I'm gonna go into sample one. So when you when you load a sample in here, you have the option where you can physically drag a sample into here. Or you can um, click on this and load a sample. And what I did, let me show you what I did. I'm going to do it slower for you. I clicked on uh, right where it says no sample loaded. Go down to load sample. And then I'm just going to go into a random kit. So this is the African kit. All right. And what I do is before I, I um, you know, load any sound, I like to audition. So I, I hit the play. And then you can just hit the down arrow. And find the sound. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get that right there. I'm gonna load that in. And when I click on pad one, since I got my mapping set up right, this is what you're gonna hear. Okay. So when you first set this up, your velocity is gonna be like this. So it's gonna like cut short. You know. And with me setting up this, I got the mapping set up how I want it. So you have to come down to track number four. See right here, one, two, three, four, on the um envelopes, and you gotta pull this all the way out here. You know, it's it's a preference thing. If you're doing like some heavy 808 drums or something, you probably want to turn it down and use it like a polyphony. So, I got my velocity maxed out. So when I hit this, you hear the full sound. But if I turn the velocity down, you know, it kind of cuts it short. Like I got my polyphony turned all the way up. Okay, so you know, once I got that set, <clears throat> I could just come over here, I could set my tempo and hit record. You know, and I use shortcuts. So, what I do is I press R. Okay, so I'm gonna play that back. And it recorded all the sounds. Wow. 
And um, that's pretty much all you have to do if you're um, trying to sync your MIDI keyboard up or if you're trying to set up your machine or your NPC in Logic. So that's all, pretty much all you got to do.